This presentation is an overview of the Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District. While this presentation is primarily designed for in-person discussions, it was important to us that it be available for anyone to review at their convenience and to reference when questions arise. The Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District is an independent special district governed by Florida State statute. We cover 142 square miles out of six fire stations, with a seventh under construction. As you can see in this district boundary map, our fire district is a much larger area than the 96 square miles platted as Lehigh Acres. Let's cover our core services. Fire suppression is our most commonly recognized service. It includes residential, commercial, automobile, and brush fires. Firefighters practice fast attack procedures in order to minimize risk to life, property, the environment, and financial loss. Emergency medical services are also provided by our district 24 hours a day by advanced life support personnel from all of our apparatus. This means that, except for transport, we can provide the same level of care from a fire engine that we do from a rescue truck. Requests for medical aid constitute the majority of calls answered by our district. Life safety management is responsible for reviewing building plans to ensure they meet current state fire codes, life safety inspections, public education, and fire scene investigations. You may have questions about how we are funded. The fire assessment, which is displayed in the bottom non ad valorem section of your property tax bill, is our fire district's primary source of revenue. We do not receive any funds from your county taxes. Under the simplified fire methodology adopted in 2020, property owners pay a two-tiered annual assessment. Every property owner pays $181.43 per parcel, plus $1.05 per thousand dollars of the value of improvements on a parcel of land. As Lehigh Acres continues to grow, our calls for service have steadily increased. Our 2023 numbers appear on track to be almost double our call volume from 10 years ago in 2013. As you can see in the pie chart, medical calls account for almost two thirds of our call volume. Fort Myers Beach and the Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District are the only fire departments in the county that offer ambulance transport, while Lee County EMS covers ambulance transport for the rest of the county. A land use map of our district is the best visual to understand the rapid growth in our community. In just this past year, 2,389 new residential parcels were developed. As you can see on the map, the green residential areas are spread out to every edge of our fire district. These developed areas, sometimes just a few homes, are surrounded by large areas of vacant wildland. For this reason, brush fires are especially dangerous in our community. A contributing factor to the cost of homeowners insurance is the property's public protection classification rating. ISO is an independent organization that provides communities and businesses with various rating and evaluation services throughout the United States. A community's PPC depends on emergency communication systems, the fire department, the water supply system, and community efforts to reduce the risk of fire. The best possible classification is a one, with 10 being the highest hazard risk rating. Effective this March, the Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District has maintained a rating classification from ISO as follows. A PPC of three for parcels and structures within five road miles of a district fire station, and a PPC of 10 to all parcels and structures that are located more than five road miles from a district fire station. A primary goal of the 2020 assessment referendum was to construct and staff a new fire station every three years. The construction of these new stations improves the ISO rating for homes within the five mile radius of the station and also benefits the entire district by decreasing response times to calls for service throughout the district. The circles around each station represent the five mile radius that receives a lower ISO rating for their proximity to the fire station. Red circles represent our current fire station 
and purple circles represent future station sites. We continuously reevaluate future site priority by evaluating service call heat maps and monitoring the areas of rapid development in the district. As your emergency services provider, we are constantly planning for the future. Our immediate focus is the construction and staffing of Station 107 on Leonard Boulevard. We have also recently acquired land from the county off Williams Avenue behind Lehigh Acres Park. The intention for this site is the construction of a training facility, a future fire station, and a hardened multi-purpose building that would serve as an administrative headquarters, provide community meeting rooms, and also work as the East Geo Division for the county during emergencies. The challenges we face as we continue to grow are the increased costs for new apparatus, supplies, fuel, and construction. The wait times for new apparatus orders have significantly increased, along with delivery times for parts related to repairs on current trucks and engines. You may be asking how you can get involved with your fire district and stay informed about fire prevention, safety, and current events. If you are on any social media platform, it is likely we have a presence there too. We frequently share photos and community updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, in addition to special content on Nextdoor, TikTok, YouTube, and our website. We also work with local media to cover major events or special information in both print and on TV. A free interactive smartphone app is also in development. Community members are encouraged to attend our Board of Commissioners monthly meetings. This presentation's goal was to cover the most frequently asked questions during community meetings. Should you have further questions about our operations, please contact us anytime by phone or email. And also, please consider attending a future board meeting to meet your elected commissioners and members of our administration.